Hey guys, good morning and trashy day like to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. This is Jamyang and welcome back to my channel. Today is my second day trekking from Thurpur to Yangpajan and today I'm gonna trek for 12 kilometers and I heard that today's trekking will be all the way going up to 5000 meter and tonight I'm gonna camp at Leiting village so which is 12 kilometers from Thurpur and the altitude at the Leiting village is approximately about 5000 meter and with this awesome chance I'm gonna share all my experience of what I see during this trekking and I wish that you will enjoy my second day trekking from Surpu to Leiting village. See you guys! Alright, I cleaned everything here where I was camping and thank you for his battery and his butter tail. You have to be really careful of the yaks. So it is so interesting that they are using yak as a transportation here in the mountain. And yak is really, really strong animal, you can see. <sighs> All right, let's say goodbye to this place. It was a wonderful place. I really enjoyed it so much. And let's begin our trekking. Honestly, I'm really, really tired today because last night I haven't slept that well because the mattress that I have is really, really hard. I usually don't do that much tracking, you know, so I'm not used to sleep in tents and sleeping on a mattress. Anyway, I think I'm used to it and I hope I'll sleep good tonight. <sighs> ah. Yeah, I can see lots and lots of antelopes. Let's go and see the Tibetan antelopes. Hello. Hello. Wow, so beautiful. It's this cute baby. Right, let's keep walking. Ah, he stands like a lion king. <sighs> bye bye. That's a beautiful place. And I also can see that businessman is also coming. And here on this mountain, the locals have put lots and lots of prairie flags. Must be some holy mountain. And I think I just have to follow this small river. Fake stone made man. I don't know why they have made this thing. Maybe to stop the wild animals. Uh, this morning I just checked the weather and you know, the difference is between morning and at daytime is like really, really big because at daytime the temperature will go up straightly to 23 degree so minus two climbs up straightly to 23 23 degree it's like winter changing to summer in few hours <laughs> and it's a really beautiful day today a good weather i feel like i'm really really lucky Those beautiful rock mountains. Right now I'm here at 4,500 meter. So up there, I think that will be 5,000 meter. See my eyes? It's really red. I feel so pain. This morning I just used some sun lotions and that makes my eyes really, really painful. And when you are coming in Tibet, remember, sun lotion and a sunglass is really, really important. Because we really have a strong sun in Tibet. Look at the sky. 
sky. Ah, there I see the yak. The yak is afraid of me, so I'm hiding. I'm making video of the yak. <laughs> This is not coming when he saw me at the front. So that's the businessman. Looks like he's so afraid of me, you see? Come, son, touch it a little. Touch it a little. Touch it a little. Let him turn him back. You must have a word. You must have a word. The Langati gets in the motor to say, You are a little bit. Ah, you are a little bit. Ah, you are a Yo, you have a Bye bye. <laughs> Alright, that uh, yak man have just told me that the car can go like five kilometers more at the front and then he will take the mountain road to do his business and it will take him like a day. So, this is an interesting tracking route where the locals they still do the yak transportations interesting yeah and now I'm gonna take a toilet break it's making my stomach really really problem because the water here is the mountain water snow water so it's, it is making my stomach uncomfortable ah. all right that is going to be my toilet ah. Looks like a small cave. That was a wonderful break. And you know, when you are traveling in Tibet, remember to drink at least like four liter a day because of the high altitude. The air here is really, really dry. So you must need to drink like four liters of water every single day. one I've met except the yak man since this morning and I feel like I'm living in the end of world I don't understand why the river is still frozen with this 14 degree why they really call it night hold this river it's frozen Looks like a house up there. I hope that is a tea house or something so that I can get a cold coke. And you can see lots and lots of rocks that has been heaped up. We believe that if we 
keep the rocks up, it will keep your luck up. So you'll get more luck. So Tibetan likes to keep the rock like an American Indian. Right, I'm gonna take here a break. It's already 12.30. You know why the prayer flags have five different color. You see blue, white, red, green, and yellow. It actually represents five different elements. Like blue represents the sky, white represents the cloud, red represents the fire, and the green represents the water, and the yellow represents earth. So it's like five different elements. And all those prayer flags they have written uh, prayings. Uh, Tibetan people usually love to put the prayer flags at the top of the mountains, you know, where there's more wind so that the prayer flags can fly in the air. The more the flags fly, the more the luck you get. So that's how we believe. So, so it's kind of culture, it's kind of Tibetan culture. Ah, anyway, I'm gonna take a five minute rest here and then around one o'clock I'm gonna have a lunch break. The more higher you go, the more ice you can see. Uh, I thought that was a house, but it's a gate. <laughs> It says that protecting environment is everyone's responsibility. I like it. See all those big rocks has been fallen from up there, I guess. Ah, there I can see some ruins, like old house. Let's go and see. I don't know what it is. You see, that looks like a rabbit for me. <laughs> ah. Finally, I can see some green. That's what we call sung, and in Tibet, we use it as an incense. It must be herbal. I don't know what it is called, but in Tibetan we call it sang. And I can get lots and lots of sang here. See, so many sang. It's already destroyed. It's just nothing. Maybe it's a stupa. A destroyed stupa.
time I'm sure I can see a house. It's not only one house, it looks like a small village. That would be a really, really nice if someone can offer me a hot water tea. Let's go there. I can see a few houses here. One, two, three, four. Ah, it's a broken tip water. Seems like no one is living here. I can see more house now but it's really really quiet looks like no one is staying here anymore have a tap water here Let's go and see what's inside here. Wow. It's an old house. Looks like no one is living here. I don't see anyone here. All right. And let's go. Looks like this village is already dead. Like no one is living here. Maybe because of too cold or maybe it's not that convenient for them to get food or anything. Anyway, doesn't matter. I can survive. All right, then let's keep walking back on the tracking route. It's also a dead river. There's no water coming in this river, so looks like no one is staying here in this village. But it's a peaceful, small, beautiful village. It's already 1 p.m. and now I'm gonna have a lunch here.
I just finished my lunch and I ate cucumber, egg and a sneaker. And now I'm back with full energy. And I have walked like eight kilometers. And I still have to walk like four kilometers more. And I have to go all the way inside this valley. Temperature is dropping now. It's like three degree and it's getting much much colder. And the altitude is 4900 meter already. And it makes me it is making me a breathing problem. Oh. Beautiful rock mountain. Wow. Huh? I can see the clouds are moving really fast, but I don't see that from my camera. Look at here, guys. Just me and mountain. Wow. All right. I guess tonight will be a cold night because I'm spending my night on 5,000 meter. Now I have to start to walk under the snow or the ice. Wow, look at this mountain. It's a really sharp standing rock so beautiful I just checked the altitude and it's 5,000 meter. And it's, and walking on the ice is much difficult than walking on the rocks. But anyway, I really enjoyed it because it's like adventure for me. <laughs> the only thing I wore it was I only have one sleeping bag. I'm worried that it's getting cold at night time. Other than that, everything is really beautiful. And I enjoyed it so much, you know. I came from all the way down there. And I don't know how much longer I have to go into this glacier. pretty slippery. See? The footprints of the yucks. Look under the ice.
Now I only have one to two kilometers more to walk. See the village, small village up there? So this is where I'm gonna camp tonight. I really enjoyed walking on a glacier. Anyway, now I'm finished with glacier and back on the grassland. Bye bye glacier. Finally, I'm here to the village. I made it guys to my destination, Letting Village. That's a big yak. Hello. Hello. All right. Looks like no one is here as well. So first I'm going to do the camping and let's see if I can charge my battery when they come back. So today we walked like 12 kilometers from 4,300 meter to 5,300 meter. So I climbed like 1,000 meter. And tomorrow I have to go inside this valley. So remember guys, when you are trekking here, you must have to bring the power bank with you because the electricity here is not available. Please remember to bring the power bank. You see? So that's my mattress. It's like really thin and really hot. But I hope tonight I will sleep good. All right. I'm gonna take a little nap. My eyes is still really, really red because of the sun lotion. I don't know what's happening with my eyes. Maybe because of too strong sunlight. <sighs> and right now I feel like my eyes is burning. <sighs> In a while I'm going to walk up to the mountain where I can see the family. And let's see if I can charge my batteries.
Ki bu dua ne? Ti cora motor be. Ji. Ha. Cholusa. Ha. Num sulu e. Ni bawa ni yu ya ni dem boja chola tis de. Ha. Boja chola tis e. Ha. Dem ki chi men. An num lu na kale o si mare. Sin ji ka zi chol. Ha no ja ta. Ha man shukure to cha. Ta de sa no chil ti chi ku yi re. ตัวเจ้าสิ่งที่เจ้าสกุลเดียวนะใช่ใช่ใช่ตัวเจ้าสิ่งที่เจ้าสกุลเดียวนะใช่ใช่ใช่ตัวเจ้าสิ่งที่
Drop a sajut sang a sang a sajut drop a sang 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 a Yamalafemo, <laughs> 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 so they are using the solar power for charging and most of the power I have used it so they don't have a light tonight. I'm really sorry for them. <laughs> they have to spend the night with no light here. Low couple red rather. Little bit, because it's a little bit. Take a little bit, Raja. Take a little bit. Take a little bit. Take a little bit. Take a little bit. Take a little Tanto Casere. Tacunto Locatus de Rea. Ya, ya, se. Lo chuchi to me. That was a wonderful couple. I'm so happy that they let me charge my phone, my tripod, my everything, my every battery, you know. I'm so lucky to meet this good couple here and I really really appreciate them they are really kind people you know and I'm so happy for what they did to me Tungu mara Hoi ya chucho chinche shu toje that was a super nice experience and really really nice couple I just met. I mean, they're really kind people, you know. And now I'm gonna go to my camping spot. I'm gonna take an early night because last night I really haven't slept well. And I hope that tonight I will sleep good. <sighs> Look at the view. So this is where I'm camping. Ha ha ha. Where in that tomb, Jush? He got lost to the lady. Lost to get him as low, and do it. Thank you, Joran, the Yobede. Joran, David, do it. Low, and do the same. We got lost all the way. Not so far, chop the table. Oh, yeah, 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 You see, every people here are really friendly. I mean, the tracking made me tired, but after visiting those people, they made me more happy, you know. 
So you see, I am camping into this place. That big green tent was built by government for them to use when they have an earthquake here. And I just did my camping next to this big tent. All right, guys. So that's my day two from Tsurpu to Yangbachan Monastery. I really enjoyed it. And right now I'm here on 5,300 meter, which is already quite high. And today I met so many good people, you know, they're really friendly. And I'm so happy because all my power banks, my battery are all recharged. And finally, with all this battery, I can show you what will happen tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys. And I wish from bottom of my heart that you also enjoyed watching my day two vlog from Sirpur to Yangbajan Monastery. This is Jamyang. Welcome to Tibet. We are the one that can show you original Tibet. Good night, guys.